Hi, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor, where we're going to talk about coins and money. So these problems are going to involve this is $6.80. Now you can add these two up, just like any, anything uh, that you've been doing. 0.75 plus 0.1 is 0.85. D is equal to $6.80. So D is going to be $6.80 divided by 0.85. Okay, because you just divide both sides by what's in front of D there. Uh, so D is going to be equal to 8 when you put this in your calculator. The number of dimes you have is 8. Okay, And to find the number of quarters, you just use the other equation. The number of quarters is 3 times the number of dimes, which is 3 times 8. So the number of quarters you have is 24. Okay, 24. So it's 0 0.8. Okay. You can do that in your calculator or by hand. 16 times 0.05 is going to give you 0.8. Minus, because you have a minus sign here, P times 0.05 is equal to 0.36. So you see, all we've done here is we've plugged in the number of nickels here into this equation. We got this, and we just started to simplify. You have to distribute here just like this, okay? Because you have two terms in here and one term in there. So now we can add the number of pin, this, these terms up, the p terms up here. 0 0.01 minus p times this is going to give you negative p, 0 0.04. b is uh, 23 cents. Uh, 23 cent stamps and 37 cent stamps, okay? So it says you bought 12 stamps, okay? And it, consisting of blah, 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 but you bought 12 of them. So it tells you right there that the number of A stamps plus the number of B stamps has got to be equal to 12. Okay? Because we said we bought 12 stamps. If the total cost of the stamp is $3.74, find the number and type. So we know that stamp A has a value of 37 cents and stamp B has a value of 23 cents. And we know the total value is $3.74. So what we have is A is worth 37 cents each, so A times 37 plus B times 